Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivansh. Those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. Those who are new to my channel, welcome to the family. All right. I can tell you, if you have been divinely guided to watch my reading and you have subscribed to our channel, then I must say you are a chosen one because and this channel is set up with an intention that's why you can see it's been two years that i have been struggling to get subscriber or views of my channel but even if i get 10 views of these readings all right who can stay from the beginning till the end trust me you are really really getting something in your life that i'm bringing forth through these messages that means these messages are coming to you right at this point in time just as a confirmation, all right? There is a saying, all right, that uh, in Hindi, Vishwas patthar mein bhi jaan bhar deta hai. To ye to sirf message hai. So these are, like there is a belief that you can put life force, you know, into a statue, or into a stone, all right? You can breathe in life into a stone and that can turn out to be an idol, right? It is your faith that can do like this so if you believe that these messages are giving you some kind of hope that means god is not playing with your emotions or you're all right you've got to understand that we are not in an energy to play with your emotions and give you fake promises bring fake messages for you all right no we are not doing that that is not something that is taken care in the kingdom of heaven we don't do that all right so Today I have been guided by Archangel Michael to bring forth messages from his deck. So that's why I have chosen Archangel Michael. I see some kind of judgment coming your way where your commitment is going to be tested. That means why I landed up saying this message is because God is testing your commitment now. All right. Uh, you going from channel to channel, staying there for two minutes. How consistent you are. All right. What exactly you are looking for? Are you going from channel to channel just to feed your mind? Or are you going from channel to channel getting information to feed your soul? Choice, right? This is your free will. God is giving you that free will and is willing to see whether you are willing to use that free will in the right direction or not. So you ask for something, God is giving you that. All right. Now you believe it. You don't believe it. You breathe life into it. All right, so that's why I am coming up with this message. Some of you have to hear this out that there you are lacking consistency. All right, going from here to there, going from here to there, but not getting your answers. Uh, all you are looking for information that can feed your ego mind. Trigger can't help it. All right, can't help it because that way you will not be able to work through your energy progress or match with the universal frequency all right you have to give stillness all right just imagine can you have food while running while jogging can you so it's like god also you know cannot download messages to you if your mind is running like monkey mind hopping from one tree to the other one house to the other one channel to the other what exactly you're looking for consistency is not there all right so we psychic medium uh, you know we are asked by the universe go and please tell my children all right they are lacking here and we are like father is there any point telling them something like this uh, are they going to understand what exactly you are trying to say and father is like you don't have to worry about whether they understand or not i am asking you to do your job are you doing your job or not all right how it is going to be received is not your concern your concern should be i'm giving you an order you need to abide by that and that's what i'm saying you know the whole day in instagram god only knows what you are doing father is saying i see you how much time you waste or you put in instagram or in social media all right going from one to the other staying here two minutes staying there two minutes only God knows what exactly you are looking for. All right. So God knows what you are looking for. That's why if judgment call I'm seeing, then there is a call for you. 
that you need to pay attention to your life purpose why you incarnated on earth all right going from here to there is just uh, segregating not segregating it's like scattering your energy archangel michael has come up with this uh, that is energy healing work thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me all right so your thought your actions your moves your words your smile your mm, everything is an energy my dear all right if I smile and give you a good message, you will be feeling good. If I am like this and give you a message, you'll be like, how dare she, right? So that's what it is. That's energy, my dear. But can't help it, you see, if messages comes like this, all right? And, and, you, and, and I'm feeling like that very strongly that some of you are, your energies are scattered here and there. And God is trying to bring you into a place where you find your calmness find your stillness and in that stillness in that consistency of the stillness you're here if this video is for 15 minutes you're giving your time hearing this out staying holding this energy breathing this energy and you're like after going out of this channel of this message you're like you know what what she did say it makes sense to me i am like this start accepting that's when you will become like you know, you know to whom I'm speaking, all right? You very well know. I know you in energy. I can take the name, but I don't want to, all right? But you know who I'm speaking to. Even if you have stayed here till seven minutes, trust me, you needed to hear this. That's why you stayed here till seven minutes. Now you can walk out and you will see the energy that you are going to uh, attract, all right? From one to the other, because you will be running towards that energy only that you are obsessed about. You would not like to hear something that is really needed for you, for your change, for your reformation, for your transformation, for the revelations, for the answers to come in. All right. So if you are not giving a still place where the food can be served so that you can eat, you're running and you want God to serve you food. How you're going, even if God serves you food while you're running, can you eat? You see, you can't. So give rest to this mind. Sit at one place. All right. Here, okay. Mm -hmm. Download. Makes sense. This is good. All right. If you are into a spiritual journey, you should by now know what you are attracting actually. All right. Are you watching a sexy dance, exotic dance, or you are really listening to a spiritual or motivational something, all right? So choice is something you make, right? Or you are getting attracted to what kind of energy? You understand very well, right? I am not talking about porn. It's just that you know the energy that you are attracting to, all right? So you have to vibrate you have to be that energy yeah father is saying archangel michael is saying that some of you are energy worker all right that's what i feel you are meant to be a reiki energy healer a psychic medium or a universal healer like me all right and you are not understanding your purpose and you are not understanding what is happening with you hence you are like restless hence you are going from one to other place because your energy is scattered god is trying to compile that Bring it into one place so that you can have the proper alignment of all the energies. All right. Because handling seven chakra alignment energy, then three nadis energies of the Pingla Nadi, Ira Nadi and Shushuna Nadi. And on top is the Kundalini energy. Do you think, my dear, it is a joke? No, it is not really one lifetime process. All right. This is a process of uh, since the time you have taken uh, incarnation on Mother Earth, the first incarnation all right from the first incarnation to this incarnation when you're listening to this message you have been working through the seven chakras three nadis then kundalini energy all right then at one point in time in your complete consciousness with your complete conscious choices that you make this energy gets enlightened heightened awakened to its peak that's when you become a energy healer all right so you have to understand your purpose some of you are really really lacking stability look at that 
some of you, this card jumped and flipped like this all right that's why justice has not been happening to you my dear look at the bunch of cards i would like to take this all right see the sun energy if you handle you if you can do justice to your energy system then sun energy is a promised energy for you from our father in heaven the cards are validating to the messages that i am saying look at that i said father and he is showing up here lord shiva himself the destroyer ultimately he is here if you are not going to take charge of it divine intervention will happen and i will make sure that you do it all right you do it like the way i want it so father will make you do this my dear because father is not in that energy of you know my child i'll do this no 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 father is more like this that you are surviving on mother earth which is his consort only all right that's prakriti and you are not respecting his consort prakriti that's parvati mother earth your own self is a mother earth this is the world inside this world is the oyster you have to understand that the entire universe resides within this world of yours all right whatever is your height the entire life of yours is dimensionally fixed here but now your one thought is there one thought is there your thought is segregated in multiple different places hence your energy is because thoughts are energy right one place you are thinking about oh i have to uh, give my exam the and the very next moment oh, what is happening with my love interest what is going on in the relationship i have to do this work i have been pending it keeping it pending for so long i need to work on that but i'm so emotionally you know overwhelmed it's so intense i don't know what to do and like are you getting me you are not finding a a place where you can have a settlement with your own emotions compile your energy do whatever the work you are supposed to do or even if you are just want to lie down and cry about your dm also do it but no while you are thinking about dm oh, i have to wash my cloth i have so much to do and i don't know what to do you are not even like giving you are not even showing your consistency in thinking about your dm because at the same time you have this concern oh i have to finish this work i have this work to do i have this a uh, thing to take care of Where are you showing your loyalty? Not even thinking about DM. Not about thinking about your exams or uh, job or whatever. Not about thinking. You know, like it's scattered. It's completely scattered. Your energy is scattered. I'm feeling like this that your energy is scattered. That's why this cards came upside down. Justice has not been served to you. All right, you are having argumentative uh, conversations around. You're feeling really restless. all right uh, not able to explain yourself not able to close the cycle there are some people i feel like very much in this energy where you are not able to close the cycle want to come out of this energy want to come out of this energy uh, want to have a communication it's like all upside down your energy is upside down do you see this i did not do anything i pull the cards on camera all right now what you need to do is you need to bring it to this way you are said fair enough show your loyalty also with your sadness thinking about your dm sit in a corner cry for 2 3 hours until you feel relaxed forget about the whole world all right done 3 hours okay conscious it's been enough let me do this mm. that's how you can say goodbye to this energy all right you have to find a way to come out of this energy you have the power to do some miracles to come out of this energy once you are able to come out of this energy then only you will be free of this energy my dear that's nine of swords because this two energy is creating sleepless nights for you illusions for you fear doubts insecurities for you this energy is creating all the nonsense in your life you know why because you are not even able to justify this energy also because you are like you have so many things to do and you don't know what to do your mind is running you may be sitting in one place but your mind is everywhere in 10 different places that's why at the end of the day sleep has already like walked out of the ventilation it's not even windows all right just a small ventilation is enough for this slip to walk away that's happening in your life all right and hence you were not able to close the cycle this is upside down 
all right so we need to do something so that you can close the cycle and come out of this cyclical loop of staying this debbie downer tragedy queen drama queen drama king kind of an energy like oh i cannot do anything no you can do very well father is saying that he has given you he has made you perfect being all right it's just that you don't know your power all right you are underestimating yourself that's what your father has to say you are underestimating yourself otherwise he has promised you a sun energy he's showing up himself with him with him. see he, he is showing up the sun with himself all right i will destroy everything that does not serve you this does not serve you that's why you are not able to close the cycle so i am here so that i can help you come out of this energy all right you can close the cycle i am watching i am watching he's saying that all right he's promising that and once you have come out of this all right that's when this kind of energies will enter your life but if you stay long enough in this this is what you will continue to stay stuck feel completely burdened sleepless night in that heart justice is like never to be seen i don't know what justice is after some time you're going to say i don't know damn what is justice is and well once you come out of this energy then this pages are not going to be like this they don't know like what they are doing they will be like this they know what they are in the informations that they are bringing the learning this page can create something he is not just an ordinary stalker my dear of the tarot deck this person is collecting information this person collects information very cold very sarcastic very blunt it's like i will go with my mind i will look for information that fits my passion my compassion my desire my idea i blend like this this energy blends like this all right i will look for information that feeds my soul in, in increases my intellect increases my wisdom intellect uh, increases my um you know knowledge all right he is a true seeker to be honest when he finds his answer you know he walks through those knowledge he becomes a king of uh, uh swords he he understands now the energy of king of pentacle king of cups and king of um swords all right a king of uh, wands all right and that king with four elements has the power to turn into an emperor all right so you need to come in this energy of not like upside down you may be not having all the information get the right information get to the right platform to get the right information and let this energy blend the informations that you get put it into a uh, energy of like creating you know you are becoming a creator yourself what emperor does empress is a creator what emperor do oh he is a ruler they are royal ask yourself do you really have royal energy to ask for this justice you don't have right that's why this came upside down that's why all, all your even the little energy also that you have it's coming upside down that's what i'm saying everything is upside down you, you saw the cards came so that's what i'm saying my dear it's no joke all right you have to complete a spiritual cycle all right you have to have a talk with yourself uh father is saying that the time has finally come that you have to have a one on one with yourself to complete the cycle like okay so tell me what is it that is bothering you keeping you hurt talk to me i will do everything so that i can free you from this energy your consciousness in this body has to talk to spirit in this way that spirit please talk to me what is holding you here you are lacking your power tell me what i can do for you and i'll do and that's when things will change drastically and dramatically with all these cards in your life my dear all right all these cards look at that this is like kind of you do it your father is saying do as i am asking of you your father is saying do as i am asking of you get the right information download it receive it with gratitude 
and implement it in your day to day life. You have implemented that, you had that conversation, that conversation will help you close the cycle. Automatically when you close the cycle, justice will be served to you. Once the justice will be served to you, you have come to a point where you have compiled your energy, good, bad, worse, bitter, sore, happy, sad, whatever energy you have found a control over all that. This is something that is promised to you. People who has done injustice will come back. Those who has showed their back, has neglected you, avoided you, made you feel little, demeaned you, they would now like to add you to their family. All right. These people, whoever, all right, has done something wrong to you because of which your will of fortune, will of destiny uh, is like has been stuck. These people will now automatically will come and and say, uh, say sorry, apologize and all those things will take place. And interestingly, you know, like uh, two months back or two and a half or three months back, there was this lady, I had a wonderful fight, all right, not like this, but talk-wise, a conflict, it was big, all right, but I was like, no, Father, this time I'm right and I'm not going to bow down, all right, and I walked out. I just showed my back. I did not want to see their face again and I have not also. Interestingly, that lady was moved from here, all right, because I was really hurt so much by her energy that God even shifted her from here that I cannot see her even if I go out. So she was not here for about two, three months now. After three months of that conflict, she called me today and said, sorry. All right, so she took three months to understand where she went wrong. She moved from here. Things went sore in her life. So what goes around comes around. You have done bad to me. God has gave you multiplied. All right. That's why she was forced even to call me and say sorry. She is old lady. All right. She is really old lady. So I was not holding any grudges, but I was not ready to accept no matter whatever her age is. Wrong means wrong. All right. My entire sensory organ says that this was wrong. All right, fine. I'm walking out. You are old, so I'm not showing my attitude or grudges or cursing you. I'm just saying I cried like a baby for seven, ten days, all right, because of that lady. But finally, I got my strength and I am less. Okay, okay, God, you are the one who will take care of it. I don't have to worry. And he has actually taken care of it. Today, I'm feeling really good that I received a call from her. And I forgot about her also, all right? I was not even thinking about her. She called and said, like, how are you doing? Like, calls me daughter type, all right? But I was like, you did wrong. So I cannot say wrong was right. You gave me 10 different justification, but I'm happy that you took two, three months, but at least you gave me a call knowing that you, you were wrong somewhere because for those people with for whom he was, she was fighting, they showed their back to her too. So that's what I'm saying. You're fighting for wrong people with the right person, all right? And at the same time, the same wrong people for whom you were fighting with me, they showed you their real faces and you understood who, 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 who is right and who is wrong, all right? So that's what I'm saying. God has a different way to teach uh, the lessons to another person the way he understands, uh, so that the way that the person understands the lesson. So is your lesson, my dear. God will teach you in a way that you understand. Your job is to use your free will in a way that you don't disappoint God. All right. Father is saying that I'm giving you free will. All right. I'm giving you that much of consciousness and awakening and enlightenment within you to understand what to hear, what not, where to go, what, where not, where to stay for how long. All right. But if you are not understanding that, then how can he, um, you know, like help you? Then tower, right? God will bring you to a message that will really, really shatter you inside, all right? And then you will be like, you know, heck yeah, I don't want this information. So tomorrow you may not land up to my messages also. You may get tower like anything with my messages, all right? Because that's what you needed to hear at that point in time. That's his will. You coming here, you walking out is also his will, all right? So you see in which energy you're able to stay till the end that it's not letting you go out. And I can tell there will be only three or four in my messages, 
who stays till the end like hooked what she is speaking all right i know these people i connect to their energy all right and they are the chosen and blessed one all right so that's how god has set up a platform for his master plan that is at play all right he has a master plan for which he is creating a foundation here on earth are you getting me what i'm saying for that master plan to play in your life he has to first of all settle that foundation right and that's what he is doing and asking you to walk away from things that does not serve you but if you stay here with those empty cups relationship places position situations whatever that is not serving you then how can you manifest this you walk away father's promises i'll give you the four of kind of four of wands kind of energy i always say four of wands is like dharma karma artha moksha the four pillars of your life to stand firm all right that's what i'm saying it's validating that's what i'm saying you have to understand my dear who you are where you why you are here all right what is the call that you are getting that you need to pay attention to and use the use of your free will is very very important at this point in time your free will will be tested right now you ask for something god is giving you now that serve in a platter all right so how you are receiving it how you are implementing it and how you are and what you are doing to please the divine all right otherwise there is this with this judgment call there will be a divine intervention as well because the judgment call does not come uh, without any surprise or shock surprise is beautiful shock is really shocking you will get surprise or shock with the judgment call depending on your energy so check today how you are using your free will all right so you see are you making the right and wise choices Are you going to the right platform to get the right information? Are you using your time? Time is an essence, my dear. You lose this time, it's gone. All right. Are you using your time in the right way, in the right direction, into the right channel? Into the right channel means I'm not talking about a YouTube channel. There are so many channelings inside you. All right. right food for solar plexus, right food for heart chakra, right food for third chakra. Are you getting me? These are channels of your body through which you attract energy. All right. So, are you? If you are indulging too much of sex, last obsession, your solar plex, sorry, your sacral chakra, your root chakra is damaged. Are you getting me? But if you're like living a holistic life, doing worship, you know, trying to be creative, trying to create your life. rather than destroying your life in too much of partying obsession this and that you are trying to align your life you will understand automatically whatever you do in your day to day life trust me that is your real mirror to tell you what you are doing with your life how you are using your free will okay so i hope you have got the message that i wanted to bring out all right uh, and Father I just hope that I was able to justify the message all right rest how you are going to take will be between you and your father in heaven until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye